Hey guys, Tyrep here, bring you a Tugitu today. We are on Belgorod. Actually, spawning on the left, we have a uh, obtuse angle. Playing as Soviets with tank hunters, combined arms, and reserve army. Question mark also with Soviets, combined arms, NKVD, and guard motor. From the right hand side, we have a song of single doge or doggy. Most people say doge these days, right? Playing Zoss here with Blitzkrieg, Jaeger Armor, and Join Tops. And finally, Tomcat with OKW, Overwatch, Elite Armored, and Breakthrough. Range team on both sides of the rankings. Here, um, rank 12 on the Allied side. Up against rank uh, 22 on the axis and uh, Song is actually in a ranged team with question mark uh, actually rank 4 axis ranged team so very familiar with each other these two and these two teams and uh, a lot of very high ranking like a ranged teams between, like all of these guys are participating in alright Nice little move there by the Sturmpies coming in from the angle. Good wagon softening up these conscripts. Here we go. <laughs> they line up there for the three on one. Way too much damage for the Kubel to hang about. Actually, conscripts forced way up there in the north. Some sandbags down. Covering a few of these points. Always tough as Soviets though because you know the sandbags are so long. So many cover positions available for your enemy to make use of as well. Even if you try and put them behind blockers and obstacles and stuff. Okay, here we go. About to be a big one. Double Molotovs around the corner. That works really well for obtuse angle. And it's enough to force away the Sturmpies quite quickly, but the uh cool wagon is doing some big damage from the sides. Conscript's actually chasing in, maybe hoping for the uh, Sturmpire wipe. Now they could be getting wiped themselves. They've got an anti-tank grenade on the Kubel. They got a little bit too close. Of course, if they got Molotovs, they've got AT nades. And they're not going to chase in. For okay, there he goes. Spins around and does get the Kubel kill. Got some good hang time. Tomcat coming in for a truck push now to get rid of this last Conscript's. Not necessary though, they kind of ran out of momentum anyway. Flame up in the north, Pyo's a bit late on the retreat here. Do survive, four conscripts for question mark. Don't think we saw any units die, no, for uh, obtuse angle. Our health conscript did end up escaping. Got healing back here. Both the Soviet players quite late starting their tier 2 though. Second combat engineer now for obtuse angle. Conscript's quite resilient behind those sandbags, able to hold that position for a long time, but here comes the machine gun. Got to get out of there before suppression comes through. Okay, forward battle group for Tomcat. This is very forwards as well. Uh, I don't know about this positioning. It feels a bit risky. But we'll have to see. Feels like one of those positions does provide quite a lot of benefit for your early territory control through the center of the map, but once like S-85 arrives, this thing will start to crumble. Wait and see though. But yeah, both the Soviet players floating quite a bit with their delayed tech. I'm a little bit surprised Obtuse Angle didn't get some tech going with this combat engineer that he built so late. I was actually wondering if uh, perhaps he was going to go for a Commissar, the way things were heading. And that's where building your tech comes in handy as well, since you do get a little bit of a 
Command points. Destructing tick. The Soviets. And for most factions, actually. All factions, maybe? Alright. Ooh. Ooh, conscript did. Just so many units clumped up in that tiny area. Trying to do, do just a run sideways dodge instead of a hard retreat. And paid the price for it. Definitely a late reaction to the grenades though. An instant rebuild on that. Oh, saying go ahead. Plenty of manpower. Well, the combat engineer is still alive, so we might be able to double time the tech construction. Accelerated almost to three command points already off the back of that. So if he was planning to go for a commissar, could have uh, gone for that instead of the conscript rebuild. Had the command points for it. But so far looking pretty good for the uh, allies. Good amount of map control. Seems like they've been ahead in that regard. We'll take a look at the KDs here. And yet trading very well. You know, if you're going even with conscripts at this phase of the game, you're doing very well. Oh, wow. Okay, Song going for a half-track. So not having the munitions for the flamer. So I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a reinforcement half-track. It's got LMGs upgrading, so yeah, I mean, if you wanted to use it as a non-reinforcement half-track, could have cancelled the LMG and upgraded the flamethrower instead. Allies have doing, been doing a pretty good job of harassing this muni point though, so it's a little bit behind on munitions. Made a little bit of use of the in-hold healing. Conscript's coming around from the side, but the gold OKW blob over here. One of them upgrade with the G43s as well, and I don't know about waiting this long for a retreat. It's a decent Molotov in there. Leading a huge amount of manpower. Could even lose his conscript. Tomcat's going to go for the chase down. Uh, oh, and it does die. Oh, and then the grenade as well. Seems like obtuse angle. Maybe suffering from some lag. Just really slow dodging these grenades. There's a conscript. I mean, uh, a conscript. Two conscripts, actually. Wow, I thought, I thought the second one was a combat engineer, but no. That is a really bad start for obtuse angle. That's a T7, we gotta take a Faust right away. Pack in the build for Song. Peers off the critical. And uh, attack grounding to clear up some vision, I guess. That's interesting. Ooh, that could have been nasty. They're still repairing. Heavy mortar now, guard motor locked in. A question mark and uh Chusango going for combined arms army, so both with guards commanders. Uh, reinforced back at the half track, but really getting very low. What was that Fusilier doing so far forwards? Kissing on the field now for Tomcat as well as a uh Second tech truck. T-74 obtuse angle as well. A little bit later though than his teammates. And, uh, zero kills on it so far. Looks like they're going to come in for a bit of a two-on-one in the north. T-70 taking some big hits from the pack though, has to back up for repairs. Doesn't have uh, vehicle crew repairs yet, doesn't have the command points for it. Okay, this time maybe he's not suffering from lag, or maybe it's maybe he's biking. Easy dodge on that rifle nade. Barraging the uh, Aussie mortar back the other way. 
friendly fire from a tripwire, was it? Oh, that could be trouble. Gumpsting squad come around the corner. The pack's right there. The T70 goes down. So does the combat engineer. Wow. The Juice Angle just having a nightmare this game. Can't keep his units alive. It's double heavy mortars from question mark Let's see if he can carry obtuse angle because at this stage you know it was so promising for the allies earlier but they are just losing right across the map even with that t70 on the field the uh, pack positioning very strong so far from song it's been containing the t70 nicely and i think it's a good idea maybe to probe the uh, more northern areas now with that T-70 get away from the pack. You know, between the uh, forward battle group and the forward reinforce of the half track. A lot of uh, presence in the center of the map for the Axis right now. But maybe that can be broken down by these double heavy mortars. Expecting a T-70 to the north, the pack repositioning. Now a Maxim in the build. I'm a little bit surprised that Obtuse Angle just kept going for a conscript rebuild instead of switching over to a couple of guards. A little bit slow backing away from the pack. Takes two shots. It allows Vet 2 on the pack now. It's got the reload bonus. It's just more repairs required on the T70. It's going to be out of action for longer. Heavy Mortar still standing. Getting a couple good hits in. He merges in to keep it on the front lines. No uh, STGs for Tomcat. It's lacking a bit of munis. It's getting the LMG though on the overs. We'll push through the center, but the Maxim's there to close that down. Now the heavy mortar is not hitting anything. Well, as I say that, but they're both angling to the north. Weeper, but doesn't defuse the mine under pressure from the conscripts. Got tier 4 in construction now for obtuse angle and uh, actually both. Question mark as well. So maybe the Rakeshan was going to go for some attack grounds on the mine. Constructing some sandbags down on that VP. Okay, there it goes. Kind of hard for the Rakesh though, it's got pretty bad AoE. Pretty bad at defusing. Oh, look at that. It's talking about how the Vet 2 on the pack might be an issue, and not when you get shots like that. Tricks there for the recruit. Oh. Dodges out to the side. Greedy's don't get close enough for the Faust. Did he? I was going to say. Oh, and these heavy mortars are starting to slaughter Song. Seven kills on both of them. A rotation from Tomcat, though, to assist his team at Force back question mark. It's T70. Even kills. Feels like it's been uh, out for repairs about three quarters of the match. It's definitely getting some work done. The allies under a lot of pressure right now. The KW infantry surging ahead. We are losing territory. Back up from the Rakesson as well. And they get pushed.
pushed almost back into their base sectors now. Max is looking strong. No tier 3 tech down for Song, so it might be a tier 4 style. Can be an issue sometimes when using these like forward reinforced strategies with the Eastern Front factions. Most likely to have your Pyos retreating back to base. Doesn't even have a med bunker back here, by the way. So it can be harder to get your tech going. Telemine down. You half expect that just to get blasted by a uh, mortar shell, though. Kachusha first. Doesn't even have an anti tank gun. This is very risky stuff. Because there's a Panzer IV on the field right now for Tomcat. And there is no anti tank. It's got conscript anti tank grenades, and that's it to protect this Kachusha. I don't think we've seen any mines go down. Of choose angle either. T3485, meanwhile, for question mark. Kind of showing the allies are still getting these vehicles out at reasonable timings in spite of getting smashed in map control for the last couple minutes. Shows how strong their start was before uh, Obtuse Angle lost all those units. Oh, onto the forward retreat point. Okay. Double AT Nate's going to slow down that Panzer IV as well. These two empires need to reinforce before they uh, get their repairs going. Decent start for Katusha. It was a good idea to barrage that Ford retreat point as well. Looks like it's going to be taking a couple of time fuse barrages now. So we didn't even need to wait for the S-85s. It's going to be the indirect fire siege. Quite a few of the time few shells are landing short. Oof. Spin to win there. Okay, making use of the half-track still. Song hasn't given up on it. Drop some mine planting. Fires off a rifle now just in case there is a mine there. Would have been uh, detonated, but got cancelled. Didn't complete it. Enemy forces are neutralized. Yeah, so in some trouble here, getting flanked by the Obers. Has to retreat. Two angles still struggling to hold on. Have to recover from so many losses like that. I don't think we've seen any wipes against Tomcat so far. 45 coming down to assist. Is this having trouble finding the angle right now? But there go the Obus. And a fall back in a way. This is Sydney on recon mode, providing some big vision. We've got double anti tank guns now for Song. And going into the Brumbia. I'm guessing it's probably going to be Jaeger armor later on. Half track is actually pretty good with the spotting scopes upgrade as well. It does gain vision. And Vet 3. Which I think pretty much brings it on par with the 222 since the 222 has uh, spotting scopes nerfed. Go the sandbags. Here comes a wave of conscripts. The double AT guns a little bit compromised in their positioning. Conscripts urahing ahead. And apply some pressure. We've got the Gachusha up here as well. One pack decrews. Kind of good for question mark. He actually needs an anti tank gun, doesn't have one yet. Gonna try to steal that one away to try and prevent the chase down the grenadiers could be in some trouble did he just lose a conscript merging in there grenadiers die now you can use to burn 
did he, did he just lose a conscript merging in there? I think he did, right? He said doesn't show up on the uh, points have fallen to KDs. But yeah, he's, he, he produced four. They got, they got three now, so that's uh, not the best for question mark. A greedy merge on the front lines costs him a squad. Kit and positioning, but the Zis actually contributing, coming in from the side, and that's an anti tank grenade. In fact, doubles. One more shot, and the P4 would die, and we've got a fresh T34 rolling up. Looks like it's just going to be content with dealing with the AKW infantry. Still got a lot of anti tank guns covering this retreat path of the Panzer IV. Going to go for some attack rounds. much success with them though and there goes the uh, T-34-76 takes an engine crit three kills on the Bombay so far it's about to line up a few more here Enemy forces are securing our territory. big damage straight away but nice positioning of that stolen pack here comes another Kachusha barrage so many access units in the center, the heavy mortar slamming home some damage as well. This is this is a devastating artillery brush by the allies. Huge damage. Dead one now on the Katusha, 12 kills. It's going gone alright. Four kills of barrage, it's acceptable. Continuing with the aggression. And they're backed up by the pack. The T-345 is in control. Where are the heavy mortars going right now? A bit of a misclick there from question mark. T-34 coming in from the side. A little bit of damage done. Is this missing a shot on the Panzer IV? Oh, and the Panzer IV. It's a huge hit. Perfect. Hey, we on that instant decroup. And now it's going to get polished off by the raquette, it looks like. Juice Angle continuing to struggle. I don't think it was even that greedy going for that Zis shot, but it's just under a bit too much pressure. Not a lot of utility offered by his commander so far. He's used uh, a single thing from it that I've seen. Oh wow, a howitzer from Song. So not going for the elephant. Looking into joint operations. I guess trying to uh, how even double giving mortars out the back. Interesting. They have an option of building the Werfer, of course. You know, Nori has the tier 4 tech down, but still wants the howitzer, so. Okay, here we go. I think this might be. Is that the first wipe against Tomcat? Box screen is down. Quite an impressive preservation so far. Song popping up a recon plane. Question mark has enough for another tank now. I'm gonna go for a Katusha actually. Just about squeezing a quad after that as well. Touch more manpower. Time fuse out the back here. And gets the D crew on the Aussie mortar with that. Meanwhile the Howie getting some big work done out the back here. Decrease one of the heavy mortars. Just about hits the second one. And covers it with the conscripts. T7 is still alive. Still a bit of a nuisance. Oh, 
Oh, I can't miss that shot. I was able to chase away the stern post, but I think it's a bit risky trying to do any kind of capping while you're under hands of four fire. Looks like the T3040 is going to come down to the bottom to assist. Got a fresh Zis here. That's a nice hit in. Kachusha was waiting for this moment. He's lined up. Relatively close range barrage. Bit of a slow reaction from Song. But somehow, look at that. The shells are just landing in a circle around the machine gun. A single one landing on that point. Very unfortunate for question mark. Comes in to try to finish it off with the T70, but doesn't quite get it. Look at you on the forward retreat. Doesn't look particularly good. Trying to work their way to the front, but get hammered by those heavy mortars. And here we go, cheeky pack positioning. Ooh, just about knocks out the half track. Good att attack ground attempt by question mark. Really got the result. And we've got some uh, assault artillery out the back here on the double heavy mortars. Bit of. AFH artillery as well. Nothing else really getting hit by this though. We have lost our team. Oh, did I speak too soon? Look at that! Right on the edge, a shell scatters super far. Maybe that was from the LAFH. I don't think so though. One more to decrew. That was the VET 2 one as well. Some here getting flanked. Double T-34s now. Turn up the bleed on Tomcat's infantry. Tomcat running around with this low health rakit and feels quite risky. And has gone for the mechanized into the King Tiger. Part of the reason why Obtuse Angle's been able to make this comeback. King Tiger Stall, but it's finally arrived. And tries to steal these passing water, no luck there. Doesn't look like this has hit anything so far. Haven't killed anything at least. A little bit low on health as well. Putting that up, maybe took a stray LFA shot. Yeah, recon plane up from Song again. This is the third recon plane. Still no anti air by the Soviets. A little bit surprising. The target weak point action there on the Brumbia. Here comes that King Tiger. Conscripts cowering. T-34 got off just the side of the PAX angle. There's your 85 rolling up now, but it's going to the north for Christian. It's not going to assist against the KT through the center. And, uh, got the Howie getting a decent hit there from Song. The enemy is gaining a foothold. 10 kills. Oh, that was the Brumbia, was it? Wow. Must have been a bunker buster. Here comes a big old wave of Okidori infantry. Quite low in health though. Trading a few hits there. King Tiger rolling through the middle. Oh, there go the conscripts. Ouch. So far away that King Tiger can just be so nasty sometimes. You think you're. Home's got free and then it just blasts you with a
with a shot like that. I think there was still a five mile conscript squad as well. I think they were low health, but it is really unfortunate. It's one of the only things that can really kill conscripts, though. It's King Tiger shots. She's just blasting away at the battle group. Maybe too much, though, again. And double T34 is both quite low. have stabilized though forcing the axis back and setting up a triple cap here briefly they are over 100 points behind take a look at army size as you can see it's pretty much dead even at this stage definitely uh juice angles tighten things up a lot and the artillery of the uh, allies i think helping them grind their way back into this one Yeah, Pyro's mechanized truck doing some work here. Okay, a fresh panther for Song. Come around the corner here. Don't see any Soviet mines up here. Three point misses though. Panther coming in from the side. It's the AT gun for the moment. Got a bit of Howie action out the back. The SU-85 is actually quite low. Have to find the T-70. Oh, and he picks it off. What a shot. Well done by Song. Back the other way, though. The uh, MG does go down to the heavy mortar, it looked like. And they're able to extract itself. But without that vision, it's good news for Song. Oh boy, that was a close one. The Panther nearly going down the marked vehicle, combining up with the SU-85. Looks like he turned around at some stage. He slowed his movement. So he's quite a lot of uh, resources. I'm saving for another tank. Do you have uh, repair bunkers and repair stations in this commander? We've got one down. Listening to the need for uh, more pioneers. A bit more pop cap efficient as well. Oh, there we go. How did that happen? Oh my god, and the Rakitin doesn't get away either. Oh, that is 285 making its mark. God, but the King Tiger getting another wipe through the middle. It's going to come down to assist. Rakitin trying to get polished off by the Zis. Before with an engine crit, but the King Tiger thought it might roll down through here, but come around the long way. Just five missing. Really wants to kill off that Rakitin. Suppression. Doing some work here. Man, I feel like if this King Tiger just came down here, probably could have killed this T-34. gun D crew but quickly jump back on the gun that reinforcement half track still valuable and there's a second panther for song Wobe is just surviving can't say the same about the Maxim though and that's going to get killed by the King Tiger this King Tiger a white machine right now 21 kills 3 squad wipes I think Focus sight mode very slow. Yeah, not quite enough damage for the engine crit there. Sounded like a bounce. Both AT grenades to penetrate. To get the uh, engine crit. The T345's got 800 health. Oh, there goes the fog screen there. Targeting, not entirely sure. Green is coming in from the side. Get a snare on the SU-85. Could open up a move for the Panthers. 
Ooh, Schwer goes down to a bombing strike of obtuse angle. This didn't kill the King Tiger, though. And uh, Tomcat can decide to invest in some more artillery. But no, gonna go for a reboot on that Schwer. That's interesting. We might go for like a walking Stuka instead. Is, you know, a bit lacking in the anti tank department, I suppose, having lost that Rakesson. Didn't even get the uh, Panzer Shrek on the Stern Pies. It was a little bit risky. Jusha nearly knocked out this battle group. It's alive. Only just. It is getting out of there. Here come the double Panthers. He's ready fires back up to full strength now. Back hitting Vert. He pops the Tiger weak point. They're going to get stunned with his next shot. He's ready five. They switch it over to the Panther now. Here comes the Brumbia. Ready five, a little bit slow in the chase. The Panther's going to escape. The tiger coming in from the other side. The diversionary uh, move by the Axis Triple T34s. Looking to get something going here. Oh, that is ready five just pumping the Panthers. Two is ready fives actually now. Oh, there you go, the Fusiliers. That group's in some trouble. A bit ugly for Tomcat now. They're coming back in. The uh, other East 35 out the back here, quite far away. I think the Greenies had an opportunity for a Faust. In trouble clicking on them. Blitzing away to safety. That group does fall. A little bit surprised he didn't get the Shrek there. Maybe could have you know, helped force away these attacks a bit faster. We do have a mine up here now. Just try and shut down those Panthers movement options. Hey, that is not good for the Axis. Tomcat just didn't have enough anti-tank there. I'm trying to go for a reboot on the Schwer instead of opting for a reboot on the Rakitten. But uh, pretty close to a Panther needs a bit more manpower. Definitely hurting on infantry. Using one of those few flares. Rebuild on the stern piles. The uh, Axis didn't really kill anything from the Allies. I don't think they killed a single tank. That was Soviet team doing a good job keeping these T-34s alive. Still don't have any anti-air, so I'm getting some great value out of this recon plane. Oh, so sad. Oh, I didn't even notice this, but he went for the uh, Ford resupply station on this building. That thing is actually, like, really, uh, really good. The repair abilities from this is, is just crazy. Way a bit of value in the bunker if you can get it on a building. It's not going to die, and it's a little bit strange that this hasn't target so far. That's a slowdown a lot, so, you know, it got those couple good barrages early on, but it seems like it's barely hit anything for a long time now. Looks like the heavy mortars starting their siege. Just so long range. Coming away out the back. The Panther's coming in. The s 5 comes around the corner. Mortar actually decrewed the Howies. Getting some revenge here. Yeah, completely destroyed one. 
a reaction from question mark either. Just sitting under that Howie fire. Double Panthers making some moves. One of them takes an engine crit. Oh, and there's SU 85s coming in. Oh, but the Howie actually gets the Panther. I mean, the uh, SU 85 down to one shot. One T 34 dead in the middle. It's actually a Yak Panzer from Tomcat. Interesting. I thought it was going to be another Panther. Still very close on the victory points. The Allies are ahead now, though. Muni cash down here, by the way. Night vehicle on this Panther up in the north. The S-85 is out. I'm not going to get involved in this. Vehicle crew repairing at the moment. So having to trade blows against the higher vet SU-85s is not ideal. It's got that uh, penetration accuracy bonus. Typically, you know, the Panzer wins the head-to-head, -head, but not when you come on to that kind of vet disadvantage. Oh, uh-oh. Knocked out a Katusha there. That was a close call. <laughs> that was a very close call. Lucky break for question mark. Okay, there's a lot of tanks now for question mark. He's got another one queued up as well. Looks like he's going to try to get aggressive. Double s 35s now. For choose angle as well. Are a little bit under strength in the uh, anti tank gun department, but here we go. Gets a decrew on that stolen pack and it's polished off as well. But speaking of, Chusha back the other way knocks out the Axis anti tank gun. This is going to come in from the side on these S 85s. They want to polish off this low health. Panther with the engine crit. Oh, but the Panther's going to come in for the big move. Or for the Vet 3 S-85, and it gets it. Now the t 45 overstaying is welcome. Could also be falling. Panther, though, might have trouble extracting itself. Here come S-85s. Ooh! Obtuse angle. Good angle on this, this as well. Again, the allies do come out slightly better off, escaping with a lot of their tanks on one hit. Wow, that Yagpan's a bit too already. This up so fast. But yeah, a bit of a recon plan from Song. Helps a lot with the positioning. Second Yagpan's are for Tomcat. It's an option, you know, you don't have to go with fight tank destroyer for tank destroyer, you don't have to go for anti tank guns. Get yourself open to the uh, Katusha barrages. Good on the path for song, meanwhile. Bunker's still alive, but only just. We are losing a sector. Yeah, it feels like the axis is pretty fast on their appears between the uh, mid bunk and mechanized truck. I mean, uh, the pier bunker rather. And the uh, resupply station. Is Shusha going for the howitzer? I don't see that too often. I'm guessing this is with a creeping barrage. Let's not even get the decree though. Not very successful that one. Ready at your disposal. The Panther has arrived from the fatherland. This is a Panther for song. Allies are ahead now on the VPs. Scripts uraring in for some anti tank grenades. Oh, but they launch it too early. The Panther doesn't take an engine crit. Back away now. 
The T-34 is rolling around the corner of the Panther, trying to escape. The B-25 lagging behind. There's that fresh Panther. Oh, it's coming out from base. Gonna arrive. Close call, but the Panther survives. Meanwhile, what happened back here? Is she ready? Five dead. Is this decrewed? Oh, big moose from Tomcat. Looks like uh, two Sangles stole. Ooh, one of the heavy mortars from his teammate. And wow, they overs finish off that. He's going for the kill on these. This. I suppose maybe he doesn't want to crew it with Ober models. Quite expensive. But those are some big plays. We didn't get to see how that started, but we saw how it finished. And again, it was obtuse angle getting hammered for a rebuild on the Zis. But yeah, that was his VET 3 SU 85 that he lost as well. So the Axis making some plays. Bang even on the victory points at this stage. KT vets it up now with the spearhead mode. Not with the broken vision though. Going for breakthrough. Okay, one panther healthy. A lot of access tanks back there for repairs. Yeah, uh, just going for fusiliers now. Tomcat needs a bit more capping power. I think that's a wise choice. Could even get Shrek's on one of these if he uh, really felt the need. Gives him some options. Pack missing a crucial shot there on the T34. Don't have bit one at this stage otherwise. With Jagdpanzers trying to make a move, but it's a bad move. And he just misses S-85 not in position to finish the job either. Capping right across the map. Still very tight between these two teams. Just to give up the cap in the centre. Ooh, nearly lost it anyway. Half track still alive, by the way. <laughs> Two kills in uh, 42 minutes or whatever. <laughs> okay, Yagpan's uncautious movement gets revealed by the combat engineers leading the charge. Just want to run over any mines. Speaking of, has planted a mine down there. Uh, attack rounded and actually uh, connected there. For backing away. Here we go, Song. Getting something going through the center. A lot of tanks here for the Axis. Is that Bumbi doing 41? Oh, there we go. King Tiger matches it also at 41 now. Another conscript wipe to the King Tiger. It's ready five getting a cheeky angle. A couple hits. Ogre's outnumbered. Trying to focus down the Zis. Don't quite have the staying power to finish it off. And Panzer 4 now for Tomcat. Take camped in the center. Oh, Panther sees an opportunity. That's a T-3045, but I think he needs two shots to kill it. Didn't even get the uh, final opportunity. Oh boy, and then the King Tiger might be blocking a bit. Issue 85 coming in. Overcommittal there by Song. Oh, the T-34. Oh, but this could be bad news for the Issue 85. Yeah, Yagpan's are able to take it out there. Well done. Good preservation though from Question Mark on those two T-34s. They just got away both of them. Definitely uh, not the move from the Panther though. That was a regular T-34. Can kind of understand it, but with the extra help, I don't think that was going to work anyway. If he got the final shot in. 
So I shot the pet to die. When we got out of range. Maybe feeling the pressure. There's a bit three Panther as well. Yum, uh, gets out of the range of the rockets. 29 kills from the Howie. He's been barraging down the bottom. Do have a quad now. Shot down the recon plane very quickly. Okay, Panzer IV. Coming in for a big old flank. Maybe going hunting for these Kachushas. The vulnerable backline of the Soviets. He's going to try to do it maybe when there's a bit more action happening. So he doesn't get hurt in the fog, I think. So I really did pounce back there. Tell him I detected but not swept. He's very far of his face the wrong way. Yeah, just hold on in the north. And uh the lines need to do something here fast. Here comes the Panzer IV from the side angle. Panzer Shrek's coming in. One of them misses though. Oh, but the Yag Panzer's coming in from the other way. The anti tank guns face the wrong direction. The Panzer IV making some big moves. And this is the kill shot, though, with the Yag Panzer on the Kachusha. Oh, out of control. Doesn't get a kill opportunity. Oh, boy, and getting stuck on the VP flag in front of double AT guns. They're not fitted up, though, so should be able to escape. Meanwhile, T 34 goes down the other way, but it looks like. Pack gets decrewed in return. Unlucky for the Axis. Could have got a, t a Kachusha kill there. Probably should have, honestly. Here's the brakes. The blitzing away. Front alarm are facing up against the double T3485s. Pio looking to jump back on the pack. Two packs here now for Song. Getting around the corner. The Yagpans is coming up here. So is the King Tiger. T-34 just can't quite finish off this Panther. There it goes now. He's going to lose both, perhaps. The King Tiger may be playing a little bit too passively. No. Still had the range. I thought it might have been blocked by the smoking wreckage. All out capping war right now for the Allies. They are desperate down to 13 points. Brombeer, though. What a monster. Ticking against the Axis, though, currently. Oh, there goes the SU-85. How did that happen? It came in for some shots on the Brumbeer, but exposed itself to the double packs. The packs under some pressure, but with the reinforcement from the half-track, should be able to survive this. Especially with the Brumbeer coming back in. It was able to complete the capture, but cost them their lives. Bombier action across the tree line. All kicked off because of that flanking Panzer IV. We put on the Panther again for Song. Could be popping a detection mode here to boost up the uh, this vision a bit. Tracking, rather, that's what it's called. He's talking about the King Tiger. Something. King Tiger definitely has hard carried this game. This have resulted in like seven squad wipes or something. Crazy performance. Right out there trying to suppress. There's some capping going, but there's just no hope for the Allies. They just can't get on to any of the points. And they eventually drain out. Oh, it was a very rough start for Obtuse Angle. Three squad wipes, was it, in the early game? Really, really bad start and was uh, lagging behind till maybe about the 20 minute mark when the Allies started to turn things around. The um, double mortars, double heavy mortars from Question Mark, really kind of punishing the 
half track reinforced play of Song, punishing the four tech trucks. So he really helped the Allies claw their way back in through the mid game. But eventually, you know, the King Tiger got the wipes. The uh, double Yagpans is huge, just keeping them alive so strong. If they don't take engine crits, they are very hard to deal with. And uh, yeah, able to grind this one out. Well done. And yeah, nice move from Tomcat coming around the side with the Panzer IV. Of course, the double AT guns to face this direction allowed the Yag Panzers to come in from the other angle. Could have even got more from that. Could have got a couple of Katushas as well, but overall, yeah, GG. Well played by both teams. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game, be cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.